Hello everyone and welcome to the Trade Ideas Live Trading Room Recap for Thursday, June the 5th. My name is Barry Anderson, moderator of your trading room. Any questions you may have for me, you can use this email address. This is a link to get into our free room. You don't have to be a member of Trade Ideas to be in our free trading room. This is a link for a subscription and again, we still have the promo going, the 25% off. Uh, either the first month of a standard or premium service, or premium, our standard or premium service, or on a monthly basis, or for the full year, again, for standard or premium. Uh, that's 25% off. It'll, uh, the code will expire. You'll see the code in the body of this email. Uh, your code will expire at 11.59 Eastern Daylight Time tonight. So you're sitting on the West Coast. Don't wait till 10 o'clock if you're going to take out a subscription. Again, 11.59 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. And again, if you do take out a subscription today, say you start off on a standard monthly uh, and you like the program and you thought, man, I should have taken out a, a, an annual or maybe gone to premium. We will honor the promo code as long as you do it within 30 days. So, you know, today is June the 5th. So if by August the 4th, you said, yep, I want to upgrade my subscription, we will honor that 25% promo code. All right. Well, my goodness, again, pre-market uh, uh, work. ANW, not the root beer, but uh, Aegean Marine Petroleum. So look what happened. So I'm, I'm doing my pre-market work. As you know, I start looking at the, the stocks at about 4.30, well, 7.30. Well, we start getting our data at 7. Start looking at the stocks around anywhere between 7 and 7.30 in my pre-market active scan. And there I am merrily toiling away. And then all of a sudden, ANW just pops up. So when I see this candle, I'm obviously immediately alerted to it, especially when it got over a dollar. I checked the, the news headline briefly, and I noticed it said something about a $1 billion, what was it, $1 billion um, financing. So of course, that is, of course that's eye-catching. That's a great eye-catching headline. So I waited just a little bit. You didn't have to take it right away. It sort of it went over a dollar and went underneath a dollar briefly and then went back over a dollar. So I ended up taking it, sorry, right down here. I ended up taking it a dollar three. Now my, my issue with it, excuse me, my issue with it was that, right, to the daily chart, that's right. I thought this might prove to be a little bit of resistance right there. So when it hit the just underneath that, actually when it hit that, I decided to take just a little bit off just in case it wasn't going to get through there. So that's why you see this line right there. I think it's $1.23. Um, Let me get back to my 15-minute chart. So again, just, just in case it wasn't going to make it through that, what I considered that little bit of resistance area, but it did. And, you know, again, this is all pre-market work. Man, then it got all it gets all the way up to $2.00. Uh, I sold some more at a dollar fifty, and then the balance at a, at a just underneath that two dollars at a dollar. I think it was a dollar ninety one. So just a tremendous um, trade. Now somebody said in the room, "Boy, I wish we had a pre market uh, trading room." Now there's no mystery to this, guys. I mean, if you you should have the, a pre my well, you can have my pre market active. A scanner. I mean, it, it's really that simple. Nobody's going to tell you when to buy or sell these. I mean, you know, these are moving pretty quickly. Uh, you have to, you know, get accustomed to, to seeing this. You know, basically, it is this scanner, and you can have it. Let me just bring it up for you. Where are you? Pre-market actives. So I start watching this, you know, and I'm on the West Coast, depending when I get up. But I mean, we start getting our data at 7 o'clock, 4 o'clock my time in the morning. So I start watching this. You know, and it, obvi the obvious thing to do is sort on the change from the close. And so as I'm, I, I'm preparing a pre-market watch list, and then I'm, I'm watching different, in fact, DFBG was one that I thought I was going to take, but it was a little bit whippy. So as I'm preparing my pre-market watch list, so A&W popped to the, to, to, the, uh, to the top of it. So I looked at it and I thought, yeah, okay, I want it. It's over a dollar. Has some room to that 120. 20%, if it gets up 20%, that's a great percentage increase. And then if it got through that, then we've got a lot of potential void fill. So there's no real mystery to it. You know, nobody in a, in a, in a trading room is going to tell you to, to take it and uh, on time. You have to make up your own mind whether or not you want to take something like that. But, you know, get, get into the habit of looking at the daily chart and you just sort of see what sort of void you, you've got, what sort of gap you've got. So let's take a look what else I did. Um, too bad on the SVIX. 
That's fixed. I actually took a little loss. This came from Holly. I think it came from one of the Hollies. This is the. I think it came right about here, just over. I ended up taking the trade at twenty-seven twenty-seven. Right there. Had a little pop up here, but I was I was I wanted. Actually, that popped up and then it came right back down and then this candle knocked me out. I only took a seven cent loss and kind of forgot about it. And then look what happened later on. You know, and I, you know, I guess it's my, my fault. I should have put an alert probably right around there, 2740. And now I'm not sure how quickly I could have got into this one, but look at the volume that came into it. Just a, a huge volume. And so, and I, I'm, I apologize. I don't have, you know, we've got three versions of Holly now. I don't have the, the version up that, that had this one. But I mean, this was just a fantastic trade if you watched it all day long once it took out that high. And let's see now. Yeah, PTI, ah, PTIE, I should say. So this came from a volume play. You know, there's a volume bar that came into it. And I ended up taking this trade for the first time at 252. Again, you have to look at a daily chart. See why I would even do something like this. So look at the void. Obviously, it had horrible news here. And but looked like it was trying to, you know, come back. I'm not ever saying it's going to fill this void. I doubt if it ever will. But, you know, you, you traders are looking at this. I mean, they're looking at a daily chart like this. They're seeing some volume coming in. So they're saying, hey, why not? Let, let, let's see. Let's see what it might do. So I got into this trade the first time at. Was it 252? On the first break of that whole number. Sorry, not the first break of the whole number, the whole first break of the uh, 50 cent level, which can be pretty key for the stocks under $5. But it dropped back down, so I took a 7 cent loss. Got back into the trade. Oh, look at this. Is that right? Is it come all the way back? Anyway, got into the trade again at 254, a little bit above that. And then in it took the nice pop up. Now, I was really hoping it would get into the 270s. I sold most of it in this area here and before it took the big drop again. So a little bit, you know, obviously it didn't run as much as I wanted it to, but definitely uh, made up for that first uh, little seven cent loss, made it back up on, on the second time in. Now, I'm in, I am in Crow and hopefully this is the, yes. So there's the Holly alert, 2197. Um, the daily isn't fantastic, but it's not bad. Excuse me, it's not bad. I'm looking at this area here. Maybe it can get up to this area. All right, uh, which is 50 cents. So I'm in this. Uh, I'm in this trade from Holly, and I'm in at 22.13. So a little bit later than the alert, but you know me. I I also like to. Sorry about that. I like to take the ones that are over the whole number. So I watch it fall back and then it popped over the whole number. And so we'll see what happens. I mean, it's a, and also to get to a five minute chart, you're going to see the cross that we talk about a lot right there. There's the cross. There's the ADMA. Now, as I was saying in the room, we have sort of competing crosses. When we talk about the cross, there's on the five minute chart, that orange line there is the eight exponential moving average. The blue line is a 20 simple moving average. So the feeling is, is that if the ADMA crosses below, that could set up a bit of a short. And in, in fact, it, it sort of did. There was a cross at 2204. Not that it broke down a lot, but it did move down. Now, on the flip side, there it is setting up the potential long, all right, as it crosses above it. But I looked at this and thought, hmm, these are competing crosses not too far apart. So anyway, I'm in this one. We'll see what happens, see if it can get into the 20s. I don't expect too much out of it, but again, we'll have to see. And that is about it. I, um, yeah, that is about it. Not really looking at anything else. Boy, I see that S fix. Wow. What, just, uh, you know, tough on me for not, not, not just following it a little bit uh, more closely as it broke above there. That's just a tremendous, tremendous. Look at the volume that came in. All right, everybody. Well, I hope everybody, by the way, I should have said, I hope everybody had a great day and a half off. And to my American friends, a great 4th of July. 
Um, today is Thursday, so we only have one more trading day. So this has been a nice truncated uh, trading week, uh, only three and a half days of trading. Back to a full a full week next week. So let me just bring in the capture program. So again, if you have any questions for me, you can uh, email me at this address. This is a link for the free room. Again, this is the subscription link, 25% off. Promo code, you'll see it in the body of this email. Please, it, it expires at 11.59 tonight. So please don't ask me for it tomorrow because the code will expire tonight, 11.59 Eastern Daylight Time. I'll open the room tomorrow at about 9 o'clock Eastern Time. Tomorrow is Friday, so I'll be going to 3 o'clock. Uh, typically, I go to 3.30 Monday to Thursday. So I hope everybody has a great evening, and we'll see you tomorrow in the trading room. Bye.